I mean, we ain't making no forgeries of the Constitution in here with this, but uh, we're uh, we're definitely going to be lining some Gundam. Welcome back to Mediocre Painting with me, Wayne. This was in my targeted ads on Facebook one day, and it showed some people having a really cool time uh, paneling a Gundam with uh, what basically amounts to a, a dip pen looking thing with a super fine point. Normally when I panel line something, I'm using my uh, good old fashioned Tamiya panel line liner with a nice little pointy brush there at the end. You can see that, but I've never used one of these before, so we're in for a treat. If I can get it open. All right, so we got our little nib. So the way I understand a fountain pen works, because I'm, I was born in 1981. I've never used a dip pen in my life and I'm almost 40. So this gets inserted into this little holder as such. And then we dip this thing in whatever ink medium that we're using. In our case, it's gonna be an enamel based oil wash. Before I start putting up a model with this, I'm gonna try and see if I can write on some paper with it. So bear with me while I learn how to use this live with you on camera. All right, boop, 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 boop. we're gonna dip this fella in here and it was very specific as to like don't dip it Well, they weren't specific at all because that pen in that package is how it arrived. There's no instructions. There's nothing It's like figure it out here. You're on your own So I had some friends who actually mess with this uh, tell me how to use it. So we're gonna see yep. Oh shit. How do these calligraphy guys do this? Did you uh, shake your ink? I think I did. I thought I did. Yeah, let's try that again. You really gotta like keep agitating these and you can't let it sit for 30 minutes while you're start setting up your camera equipment. So, oh, there's my agitator. You heard that I like putting shaker balls and everything. There's one in here too. Cause you can never have too many shaker balls. Don't use rocks. That's dumb. All right, re-dip. Well, that's definitely thicker. And this was advertised as a pen for specifically doing this for modeling. But I don't see much difference between this and like what I've seen as like regular fountain pens. All right, so we're gonna start doing some panel lining here on the Valkyrie that we put together a few videos back. I told you we were gonna come back to it. So, when you're doing like regular panel lining with just the brush applicator, you just come in and touch and the capillary action carries the, carries the oil around the groove. And then you can just come back later and clean up any imperfections that you have with some mineral spirits. Cause that's what I do. And it really like brings out the details in your model. So I'm gonna load this up. And the great thing about enamels like this is even if you mess it up, you can just go back later with some mineral spirits and clean it off. So here we go. That seemed to work okay. Oh yeah. You can see that capillary action just takes that enamel all around the surface. I mean, we ain't making no forgeries of the Constitution in here with this, but uh, we're uh, we're definitely gonna be lining some Gundams with it and your military models and anything else you wanna line. And that's pretty cool. And say it works pretty well. Still gonna have to do cleanup a little bit, I think, cause I'm, I don't have quite the steady hand that I used to. But yeah, I've always had to do cleanup when I'm doing panel lining of the dots, but that's not a big deal because you just come back later with your, with a Q-tip and wipe it off and it comes off pretty easy. I'm gonna try dipping it in this uh, ink bottle because I don't see it saving a lot of time right now, but maybe if I could just like go direct. I mean, I know you never go out to mouth, but oh yeah. That works just fine. 
I feel like I have more control of this pen than I do of the brush, but that's just because I've got shaky clown hands. But uh, yeah, that works great. I love panel lining. It's like addictive. It's it's very zen for me watching the the oils travel around the lines and meeting each other. I don't know. Maybe I'm just easily amused, but I find it to be almost cathartic doing this. Panel lining is a really neat way to like give your pre-painted plastics some like real pop, and so they don't look so toyish um, when you're displaying them on your shelf. So. I think we're going to wrap that here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say that this was a good little uh, $8 investment uh, in this pen because I definitely feel more in control than I do when I'm using a brush. I don't have to worry about like stray brush ends kind of flicking out and causing more damage later that's going to have to get cleaned up. But, uh, you know, for panel lining, pretty neat stuff. Um, I'm going to probably come back to this later. I'm going to go buy like a regular off the shelf calligraphy pen and see like what kind of stuff you can do if the nibs work the same as this. I think they will, but uh, we'll find out anyway. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, let us know if you have any questions or have had any experience with these. Um, I found this online. I don't know the name of the retailer. Cause like I said, it was a targeted Facebook ad, but um, you could probably use it with any uh, thinned out enamel uh, oil wash for doing any kind of lining or um, detail work you want to do. But cool. We're going to clean this up in some thinner. This is my dirty dip thinner bottle. Need to change that soon. Let out. Get all that extra off there so it doesn't dry up. Cool. All right. Well, thank you very much for tuning in and uh, we'll see you next time here on the show.